first pan. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a nice piece right there. guys so I am down here on the day before Thermal City closes doing some digging and I've been sampling around the spot we were working before with the high banker and also sluicing I'm still finding good gold you guys are pretty slack I figured somebody would have come in here and cleaned it out behind us but so far they haven't but uh, you only got one more day till they close and then next year I'll be back hitting this spot but you can see the layers right there we find in the good gold in about the first 12 inches or so. And I'm over here sampling another hole. Let me just show you what I got. This is one pan. One quick pan I did. And I know you can see that gold right there. There's a couple nice pieces in there. So I shoveled in the, all this into the bazooka for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Alright, it's about 2.20 and I'm stopping to get some uh, snacks. I've been digging, sampling, test holes everywhere. Alright guys, so I am back here at the house. And let me tell you what happened. I didn't get any more footage because I hit a nice little honey hole down there. I started finding some coarse gold, but it was getting dark. So I didn't get to finish up. Um, uh, what I did was I loaded up a bucket of it to bring home the pan here. So hopefully that's got some nice gold in it, but that's why my video cut off where it did. So once I found that gold, man, I hit—I guess started getting gold fever. So anyway, I'm going to pan that stuff out here and show you guys what I found for the day. Alright guys, so here's my final cleanup from Thermal. Didn't do as good as I usually do. That big piece in the middle there is about 0.25 of a gram that's got the mercury on it. And I got all them fines and a couple chunkies in there. So all in all I didn't do great but didn't do bad either. Not bad for ten bucks. I know if I would have had a dredge I could have done three or four times this good.